to have our model in place with standard uh, half inch water pipe and a plastic clip just to hold that in, in position. Just set that up in our cast box and we basically recommend that you put uh, the, the water in the bucket first and then just slowly add that plaster to the water and let it soak up slowly to avoid a lot of lumps. And then we'll just sort of mound up on top of that water and it's filled uh, to a level that's about 50% plaster, 50% water by volume. We typically just use a food service type uh, whisk for mixing just to get a nice smooth mix without lumps. We just let that settle in a little bit and soak in the powder and it won't be too hard from too much plaster. And it'll be a consistency that'll pour very nicely into the mold. Move the pipe around a little bit just to break up any air bubbles. Drop the pipe all the way to the bottom and then just retract it back a little bit so it's not right on the end of the mold and the plastic device will hold that cast in place. And then in that sandbox, just to speed up the process, a whisk to mix with, just clean it off. Water to plaster. That uh, gives a nice consistency and it's about the same consistency as the mold. So they bond together well, slowly uh, adding plaster and letting that soak in in just about 50-50 by volume. Having the plaster the same uh, consistency as, uh, as what you've poured into the mold creates a real consistent uh, positive model. And we're looking for a consistency that's not too dry or not too wet. So if it's too wet, it falls away from the blade too easily and it's too soft. Uh, for the modification. And if it's too dry, it's uh, too hard and it's inconsistent with the plaster model when you're, when you're doing a modification and build up. I'm looking for a consistency that uh, is nice and pliable and the plaster will stay on the blade when, when inverted. That'll give me a, sort of the maximum work time of this plaster as well, so you don't have to mix multiple bowls to do a modification. Then that will just spread nicely, nice and smooth. And if you do a buildup, it will actually stay there and not be easily sanded away with sand screen. And these edges are sort of rolled here. So to anchor that plaster, and also set the depth a little bit. A good technique to use is just a standard uh, commercial stapler. In that wet plaster, these will bond really quickly and they just work to hold that plaster in place and hold that, you know, pretty heavy buildup. This just speeds up the whole modification process to have these two plaster mix is fairly similar in makeup and this can just be smoothed up by hand while it's fresh and this is continues to cure and set up firmer just use light sand screen or to create that smooth finish another part of this technique that we feel makes a, a real difference is using a, a good food grade type spatula a wooden stick kind of bonds to the plaster and doesn't clean away easily like the metal does. So it's just a much nicer tool uh, for plaster modification.